purchasing a, a wrap kit from wrapmyfloor.com. My name's Grant. I'm going to show you how to basically lay down your wrap kit and your wrap floor. All right. So in your kit, you're going to get a six mil vinyl with the wrap. You'll probably get several rolls depending on the size of your dance floor. And then also in your kit, you're going to get one of the squeegees. It's got a felt bottom to it, so it's not going to scratch your floor if it's uh, printed as well. All right. You can also purchase two different size squeegees that you have. You got a 12 inch and a five inch. This one's got a felt tip. This is probably best if you have a printed floor as well. All right, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your roll of vinyl. It doesn't have to line up perfectly, but what you wanna do is you wanna overlap it about two, three inches. Just give you a little extra space. That way when you lay it all over the floor, you can uh, have a little extra room for get. All right, so you're just gonna roll it all the way down. It helps to have another guy on the other end catch it. And if you go over here, we'll show you how to cut it. Most of the venues are gonna have carpet or tile floor or something like that. So what I recommend is, since you have extra room on the other side, you can cut it on this little groove here. So Jared's gonna show you how to cut it there. Just a nice even cut all the way down. You're not scratching the floor, it's actually in the groove. And then what he's going to do is he's going to turn around the wrap and he's actually going to wrap it all the way, or roll it all the way down with the wrap to create a second line. All right. Helps to have two knives. You can actually get these razor blade knives at Home Depot. I think they're like two bucks, two, three dollars each. All right. Same thing applies here. Just gonna go along the line here. All right, and so in this demonstration, we're just gonna do two, uh, two rows. Then you're gonna take the, the vinyl and you're gonna flip it over. And slide it down a little bit. And you're gonna continue to do this throughout the whole dance floor. You wanna cut all your pieces up front. That way they're ready to go when you're laying down. All right, so when you're done cutting your pieces, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the first piece on the edge. And what you want is you wanna go about about inch and a half, two inches over on the dance floor there. That way you give it a little room to overlap. All right. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some masking tape. You can also get this in your paint section at Home Depot or Lowe's. We like to use a two inch roll of tape. That way it uh, gives a little extra hold for you, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two pieces of the masking tape. You're gonna put one on the right and one on the left. Just to secure it down. And then what you're going to do with the vinyl? You're going to unpeel about four to ten inches off of the vinyl. All right. And then what you want is you want to take this paper and you're going to pull it back and you're going to tuck it up underneath. Take your squeegee and just fold that over. And then because this tape is here, you're gonna have the ability to pull the vinyl back and just kind of freehand lay the first strip down. And you wanna squeegee that down. Get all the bubbles out. Then you remove the tape from each side. And this is the key important part of laying the, flo the floor wrap down. You want to create a big enough curl to where you can take your large squeegee right here. And you're going to put it up underneath. Now there's two ways you can do this. If you have an extra guy, it's most helpful to um, have him on the other end. And then what you're going to do, once you get your curl, you're going to go down to the end and you're going to secure the other end so this, doesn't, this curl doesn't come up. So you just, Jared's going to just take that piece of tape and uh, kind of secure it down there. 
And like I said, the most important part of the, the wrap and the technique that we do it the fastest is to have this curl, all right? So this is the one way we're gonna do it. It's basically gonna have the squeegee in one hand in case there's bubbles along the way. But you're just gonna push it. And you go like that all the way down. Now the second way you're gonna do it, you're gonna have your, your second helper. The paper's gonna be underneath tucked away, but you wanna line it up and that person is gonna pull as you squeegee. And you wanna keep the paper that's lined up underneath the, the vinyl floor as well. And that person is gonna take the paper and gonna roll it up and start it afterwards. That's that. Now for the second part, I'm going to show you here. Remove the tape. Make sure you get all the squeegees down, the bubbles. And I'm going to show you how to do the second part. Like I said, an extra person makes this a lot easier. So you're gonna wrap it over. As you can see, it's about inch and a half to two inches overlapped, and you're just gonna follow the same step. Paper underneath. You can use your finger or the squeegee. Whatever makes it easier for you. Freehand this first little starter piece. Squeegee that down. Remove the tape. And like I said, the curl is the most important part because without the curl, you're not going to be able to push it underneath. I'll demonstrate you how to do the whole roll by myself. Let's <clears throat> see how it stopped there. You just want to keep pulling this bag and just make sure you have that curl there. This is why I have enough to guys the way. And then you can just discard that paper afterwards. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to do the logo. Your logo is going to come out of this transfer paper. Typically you have a big monogram in the center. So what you're going to do is in the dance floor, you're going to measure it out. You can use a tape measure, or you can go by the tiles, whatever looks good for you. All right. You can use your, either use your big squeegee on the monogram, or you can use a little one. This is a smaller logo here, so what you want to do here is going to take a piece of tape, especially on the bigger logos. And just right in the middle. And once again, an extra hand helps. And fold it over. I usually put a little bit of crease there. Jerry, can take this little piece here. You're gonna peel the paper back to be careful that the vinyl does not come off of the transfer paper there. Then you can either use a knife or your fingers, just kind of tear it. Halfway there, 
Feel like I was gonna pull it up all the way over. And you're gonna keep it taut, just enough to where it doesn't touch the floor, but you don't wanna pull it too tight that it comes off the floor here. So for this example, we're just gonna squeeze this here. So make sure all the bubbles are out. Remove the tape. And just follow the same steps for the other side. Pull it back. Pull, gently pull the paper off. It's good to keep it pretty parallel to the floor. That way the, the logo does not come off the paper. And just follow the steps on the other side. All right. We do that down. Now removing it, pull the corner of the transfer paper, and like I said, keep it as low to the ground as possible. And that's it. See you see it. Easy to it, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at PosidonPrinting2 at gmail.com. Thank you, have a great day.